Buenvenidos arqueros, or what's up goalkeepers, and welcome back to ARS Goalkeeping. Today we've got an awesome pair of gloves in for review, the Renat Sport. And I have a lot to talk about Renat, because it came up with exactly the style of goalkeeper that I love. And I was able to meet the guys at Renat just a few months ago when I, they were over here in Munich, and I was able to hear a little bit about how the company got started. Now stories like these are pretty much everything that I love in goalkeeping. The owner of Renat Sport, when he started, he was a professional goalkeeper in Mexico. But it was really expensive for him to get good pairs of gloves. And he would only get one pair given to him per season. So what did he do? He put that pair down, cut it up into pieces, found out how it worked exactly, and then went around to all of the people in his community and put together all of the same materials that were found in that glove and he made Renat Sport, a one-of-a-kind Mexican glove brand that now is leading the market for everyone in Latin America and is breaking into the European scene and in the US for good reason. Now the team at Renat has been working for decades and we have finally been able to get in one of their newest pairs for review, the Extreme Guard Pro, which if you look at it is a massive looking glove coming in a hybrid rolled and flat cut with interesting bits of rolled latex across the index and pinky fingers. The palm is fitted with Renat's latest German AXG latex, said to have been specifically made for Renat. The glove itself is full of bells and whistles for improved performance. The backhand is made up of mostly neoprene, mixed with a very thick punching platform across the knuckles, and the wrist insert seems to be sort of a quarter strap length on an extended wrist entry that has what seems to be embossed latex all the way down the wrist for an easy pull on and better control for those low smother shots. Now, I haven't used this German AXG latex ever before, but Renat does claim that the technology used is the same as the technology in F1 racing uh, that they use on their tires for better traction on the ground. And I'm not much of a car enthusiast, so that doesn't really mean much yeah. to me, but it did sound interesting. And as I did continue to use and manipulate the ball, I was pretty impressed with this latex. And if anything, it does seem like a much more durable form of contact latex as it does have very good grip, but it doesn't seem to be as soft as some of the other contact latex gloves I have used. And in the long run, that's pretty good for durability. The softer the latex, the grippier it will be, but also the much easier it will rip. So you want to go for a little bit of soft, but not too soft. And the fit on the hand on and off the ball was definitely something I'm new to. While the gloves fit the palm and wrist exactly, the fingers are a bit boxier, so I did feel a little space at the tips and side of my finger area. Which makes sense, since this is a really wide roll hybrid cut that has a mix between the roll and flat cut that is probably one of the biggest, longest pairs of gloves I've ever used. And because of that, there's a bit of extra weight to the glove. This is definitely not a lightweight glove, but thanks to that neoprene backhand, it isn't insanely heavy. There is a heft to the glove, but it feels like just the right amount of padding, especially when dealing with some of these harder shots. And the bottom line, the Renat Extreme Guard Pro is a peach of a glove. I love the fit on the palm and the easy entry wrist insert. While I'm not too crazy about the space in the fingers and would have liked a much closer fit in that area, it really isn't that big of a difference. And the AXG German latex definitely performed at the contact latex level, which in my opinion, the contact latex level is the best price profi level latex on the market. So that is a good look for this AXG German latex. So let's take a look at our gloves after about two weeks of use. Sadly, Corona has shut down our soccer fields, so we can't get too many training days on, but we were lucky to use these gloves just a few times on pure grass fields on those wet winter days. And overall, the quality is pretty good. The gloves short of needing a quick wash do look brand new, and the black latex doesn't show any wear or tear, which is one of the reasons why I enjoy these darker colored latexes. And if you want, you can take a closer look at the stitching and backhand material. This shows that everything is how it should be. I don't see the glove falling apart at any point, which honestly, after two weeks, this is exactly what a good glove should look like. It should look almost like brand new with little to no wear or tear showing. Now, there are a few areas I would like to see improved. Personally, the fit on the fingers felt a little too wide or boxy for me. And while I like the quarter size wrist strap, I would prefer a longer strap and a wider Velcro area for a tight fit around my wrist. 
I do love the addition of these durability zones at the wrist and the heel of the hand, giving you really the best of both worlds when it comes to durability and grip on the ball. Now for the price of close to 100 US dollars, the Extreme Guard Pro is considered a flagship glove from Renat, and it is on the more expensive side. So far, the durability and quality of the glove make it seem like it would be great for training and games, but at this price range, I might just keep the Extreme Guard Pro as a game glove, and would recommend it to keepers looking for a bit of extra weight, latex, and more glove on their hands. Especially if you have bigger or chunkier hands, these gloves will fit you extremely well. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for a review on the Renat Sport Extreme Guard Pro. I want to give a big thank you to the team at Renat for sponsoring this video and sending over these gloves for review. Don't forget to smash that like button guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and I'll see you all very soon.